Hello and welcome to Dynamics 365 Technical Readiness Blitz. We're going to talk about some advanced use cases of segmentation uh, in action. And this session is going to focus on two major topics. We're going to look at complex dynamic segments and look at how to create them from an entity level, such as contact, or from an interaction level, and what does that really mean. And then we're going to look at combining multiple segments into a compound segment. And then using these segments in your customer journeys will come in further. Without further ado, let's move to a demo. As you can see, I have created a new segment uh, in Dynamics 365 for marketing. The new segment that I'm going to create is essentially a nudge segment. I have a list of premium customers who've previously expressed interest in a product, and there are a set of uh, customers in a segment who've already confirmed their subscription, and I do not really want to send them. And they're both in their own separate segments. So let me just name this Contoso Nudge Campaign segment, and call this a compound segment, since this segment is going to be a result set of multiple segments. Let's jump to the definition. In order to set up a compound segment, we will create a new segment and set the segment type to compound segment. And when you're in the definition of that compound segment, we'll simply select the first segment. Now in this case, let's say that there are people in your segment that have expressed an interest in an upcoming event. Let's put that as segment one. Now you want to nudge these people, the people who have expressed interest but have not really confirmed their participation right now. And what you want to do is you want to nudge these people with a reminder email. That being said, you can create the segment as a compound segment. So let me just exclude the people who've already expressed their interest. So let me just get rid of the people who've committed their participation, and I have a simple compound segment ready to use. So as you can see, the selection of two segments and the adding of an operation between them is a simple two-step exercise that helps us create really powerful segments using our existing segments. And because the segments are in, the, in themselves dynamic, as the values of these segments keep changing, the compound segments keep modifying itself. That's it for compound segments. For the next steps, you should check out the documentation available online and get a free trial. Please reach out to us and share your experience of using Dynamics 365 for marketing. Thank you.